Sziasztok! Hi everyone! I'm Sándor. Welcome to another beginner Hungarian lesson. Today's video is part 2 on the subject of the plural form of nouns in Hungarian. So if you haven't seen part 1, please check it out. Last time we talked about the difference between English and Hungarian when it comes to the usage of the plural form. And we also talked about the plural suffix, which is the letter K, as well as the general ways nouns are conjugated. Today we're going to talk about the irregularities when it comes to the plural form of nouns. Let's dive in. Certain nouns end in either alom or elem. Alom, elem. In their plural forms, these endings become almok and elmek. Almok, elmek. Fogalom. An idea or a concept. Fogalom. Fogalmak. Ideas or concepts. Fogalmak. Szerelem. Romantic love. Szerelem. Szerelmek. Romantic loves. Szerelmek. It doesn't really make sense in English, but love can have a plural form in Hungarian. Fájdalom. Pain. Fájdalom. Fájdalmak. Pains. Fájdalmak. Félelem. Fear. Félelem. Félelmek. Fears. Félelmek. One syllable nouns ending with a vowel receive a V connecting sound most of the time. Also, the vowel becomes short a lot of times. For example, Ló. Horse. Ló. Lovak. Horses. Lovak. Kő. Stone. Kő. Kövek. Stones. Kövek. Mű. It can mean work, as in the work of an artist, be it a book, a piece of music, a movie, a painting. It all can be called mű. It can also be translated as creation, as in somebody's creation, an opus, something like that. Mű. The plural form is művek. Művek. Interestingly enough, the word mű is an adjective as well. It has a completely different meaning and its plural form is different. I'll get to that when we start tackling adjectives. Now, sometimes the plural form of these short words really changes. Like for example, tó, lake, tó. The plural form is tavak, lakes, tavak, or hó, which means snow, hó. In Hungarian, snow can have a plural form as well, although it's barely used, and it's havak. Havak. It means snows, but it's a noun, not the third person singular form of the verb to snow, okay? Mind you, not all short words act like this. Take the word tű, for example, which means needle. Tű. The plural form is simply tűk. Needles. Tűk. So please, if you're not sure, check the dictionary because, unfortunately, there are no guidelines as to which noun changes its form and which doesn't. Sometimes if there's a long vowel at the end of the word, it becomes short in the plural form. Egér. Mouse. Egér. Egerek. Mice. Egerek. Tehén. Cow. Tehén. Tehenek. Cows. Tehenek, heed, bridge, heed, hidak, bridges, hidak. I hope you can hear the difference between the short and the long e sound. Heed, hidak, heed, hidak, madár, bird, madár, madarak, birds. Madarak, kerék, wheel, kerék, kerekek, wheels, kerekek. Again, unfortunately, you can never be 100% sure, so keep a dictionary around. Sometimes the last vowel of the noun disappears in its plural form. Dolog, thing, dolog, dolgok, things. Dolgok. It's not dologok, it's dolgok. 
Horog. Hook, like a fish hook or a hanger. Horog. Horgok. Fish hooks or hangers. Horgok. Torony. Tower. Torony. Tornyok. Towers. Tornyok. Étterem. Restaurant. Étterem. Éttermek. Restaurants. Éttermek. Again, all I can say is please keep a dictionary around. And please don't kill me. And lastly, there are some nouns ending with you. You. Usually these nouns change their ending to yuck in the plural form. For example, var you? Crow. Var you? Var yuck? Crows. Var yuck? Bor you? Calf. Bor you? Bor yuck? Calves. Bor yuck? I can't think of another noun with this ending right now. I'm sure there's at least one and it's gonna haunt me for a week. The good news is that usually the above mentioned nouns, as well as others that act in the same way, also change their forms when they get an object particle or a possessive ending. So if you know that a certain noun is playing its nasty tricks when it comes to the plural form, at least you can almost be sure that it acts the same way as an object or as someone's possession in a sentence. Thank you all for studying with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. And if you'd like to support the channel even more, check the description. My paper information is there, along with my email address. So if you fancy one-on-one -on -one lessons with me, hit me up. See you in the next lesson. Sziasztok! A viszontlátásra!